Hi my darlings, it is officially the holiday season and I have four super cute and easy hairstyles for you to try out. And we're gonna jump right in. I call this first one a long tail French braid because we tie it off higher than I normally would. I decided to do a middle part but you don't have to and now I'm just French braiding my hair. I do have a dedicated French braid tutorial which I will link below. For this style, I started the French braid at the crown of my head and then I added the pieces from the front. But it's really just a normal French braid and of course we have to shake the arms out when we're done. And then I'm gonna braid halfway down so we have this super long tail tying it off with a plastic elastic i like this one's brown so it blends in with my hair and now i'm taking a ribbon and i'm just gonna tie a bow around that elastic my ribbon is pink but if you want a more festive look you can definitely do red green even white would be cute but i just really like this ribbon so i wanted to use it for this look super classic and pretty and perfect for the holidays this is our second look a little more extra flair i'm gonna part my hair down the middle all the way to the back and then separate the two sides taking my bristle brush and gently slicking down my hair because we're gonna form two pigtails you could also use some product if you need to like a hair mask or a leave-in conditioner to slick it down a little better but i'm on like day three hair so i didn't really need any products now that we have our pigtails we're gonna take our plastic elastics and start tying them around the pigtails forming these little bubbles you can pull them apart with your fingers or just tighten it from the bottom like i'm doing here the closer your hair ties are together the smaller your bubbles will be so i'm spreading mine a little farther apart to form bigger bubbles and i do four and of course we're gonna match on the other side i also leave a longer tail out so the ribbon can be bigger at the end so this is how we're looking and now i'm going to take my ribbon i'm using a white one this time and i'm cutting it so i cut six pieces the same size at about 16 inches and then these longer ones that i'm doing now are 32 inches you want to make sure that the ribbons are the same size so everything looks symmetrical but the length that you cut your ribbons honestly just depends on your preference or your hair length and this is the final look this is super cute i love this look it adds a little extra flair it's so pretty so girly and again you can change up the color of the ribbons to make it more festive hairstyle number three is definitely one on the more simple side but it's honestly one of my favorites we're keeping in our pigtails and we're just going to braid them all the way down and of course we're going to match it on the other side this is a super cute hairstyle if you're short on time or if you just want an elevated look one day so now we have two simple braided pigtails and i'm going to take this gorgeous lace ribbon that i got off amazon i'll link it below along with the other ribbon and i'm just going to tie a bow at the top hiding the hair tie i knew i wanted the bow to be nice and long for this look so i cut the ribbon at 37 inches but again totally up to you you can make it longer you can make it shorter as long as they're both the same length so it looks symmetrical on both sides and this is the final look again super simple but so cute and beautiful the ribbon is obviously the star of the show for this look since it's so simple i really recommend getting a lace ribbon or maybe something frilly it really just takes the look to the next level definitely one of my favorites and now for the fourth and final look, you're going to need some bobby pins and hairpins. We're keeping our same pigtail braids, but we're going to twist them around, forming a bun, pinning them as we go. So I just wrapped the braid around one full time, and now I'm pinning it down with a hairpin. And I'm going to continue this process, twisting the braid, wrapping it around the bun, and then pinning it down again. And once you start to come up on the ends of the braid, you want to remove the hair tie just to give it a cleaner look so it's not poking out or anything. So that's what I'm doing now. I took it off, and then I'm tucking the tail in underneath, and then pinning that in underneath the bun. I found that with doing braided space buns or space buns in general, pinning it as you go gives a much better and cleaner look than just wrapping it and then securing it with a hair tie. If you just secure it with a hair tie, the bun will be a lot looser and it might fall out versus pinning it, it keeps it secure all day long. Now we have our braided space buns in. I'm taking these two bows that have hair ties attached to them. And I'm just going to place the hair tie around the bun, making sure that the bow is on top. Adjusting it a little bit just to make sure the bow is sitting nicely and each ribbon is on the side of the bun. And then just doing the same thing on the other side. For this look, I definitely recommend getting bows with either hair ties or clips attached to them because it'll be a lot neater and easier for you versus wrapping a ribbon around it. But this look, I'm obsessed with. This is definitely my favorite one. It's so cute. I already love braided space buns, but the bows really just add a nice festive touch. But comment below letting me know which one's your fave, which one you'll be trying out, and let me know if you want to see some more holiday hairstyles. Bye!